Welcome to Business Live. I am Mark Crosstree in BL tonight. We're gonna kick it off talking about Kingston Wars Limited here. Notice of their annual general meeting, AGM. It's expected to be a very big one, a good one here. Major logistics company operated, handled at the helm here by CEO Mark Williams. Now the annual general meeting, the AGM is coming up for June 16th at the AC Hotel right here in Kingston. It's gonna be 10 o'clock in the morning, hotly expected annual general meeting. Next up, we got Mayberry Jamaican Equities Limited trading in their shares, ticker symbol MJE, advisory that a connected party purchased just under 21,000 shares on April 29th. Talk about skin in the game. We're continuing to see that trend of buying come in, coming into MJE, whether it's directors, connected parties or persons, or managers, senior managers especially. Sagicor Group Jamaica, updated disclosure on the acquisition of AFSL, that's Alliance Financial Services Limited. This adds to the disclosure on April 1st, earlier this year. Advisory, that Sagicor Group Jamaica Limited, um, advised that it is not in a position, this is a new advisory, to actually disclose the cost of the acquisition of this deal, that's Alliance Financial Services Limited, given the presence of certain time-bound conditional terms within the contract with the sellers of the company, which over you know time may impact the final closing price of this deal. So of course, this is a you know good thing, transparency by Sajikor Group, probably a lot of analysts out there, journalists, etc. The market as a whole, you know, calling, clamoring at Sajikor saying, this is an exciting deal, adds to their core business. They just did another part of, you know, Alliance Group. But we want to hear what is the purchase price? You know, what's the compensation? What's the deal price here? Sajik are making it clear they can't release that or do that just now. You probably got to gotta wait on the next quarterly disclosures or something like that and then read through those footnotes for the financial statements. Next up, we got Purity, registering a net loss here, unfortunately, for Purity shareholders, 17 million for the total year. That's year end December 31st, 2021. You know, on the bright side, Purity's revenue for the year end was actually upward improved, 1.079 billion as it should. They're in the baker business in elastic products versus 993 million in 2020. But however, the auditor comes out, that's Bogle and Company, highlights a few major concerns that they've registered net losses in three years actually. So not just 2020, 2021, but they saw a net loss actually of 14.4 million in 2020. Coming back to the auditor, Bogle and Company, they highlight now for purity, which is a big concern in a public company, the going concern issue for purity consolidated bakeries in the audited financial statements here for last year. Last up tonight, we got Jamaica Tees, profit down, well diversified company, but profit down 27.5% or lower for the second quarter here. Jam Tees registered net profit 87 million for its Q2 versus 111.4 million in the previous year's quarter. EPS earnings per share for the second quarter, just under three cents per share versus four cents in the previous year. Operating revenue slid also for the quarter 574 million versus 608.5 million. Jam T should probably throttle through this, get their act going or back together in Q3, Q4, especially in that manufacturing segment. I'm Mark Crossgreen, this is Business Life.